Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode we're going to go in and see if we can deal with the Ender Dragon. So without further ado, let's get started. Right, here we go. So, this is where we come out. So let's start digging ourselves out. I'm going to take one of these first of all. That's a, a potion of... Um, Excess skin, I think. The Ender Dragon's up there, so let's get out of here as quickly as we can, because the Ender Dragon can attack us down here. Right. This doesn't take long to get out. It's about five or six blocks down, I think. There we go, like that. We're going to make sure we try not to look at the Ender Dragon at the Ender Enderman too much. Let's get my blow bow into hand. I don't need that anymore. Oops, I'm getting. It's all right. <laughs> Oh, I've been thrown right up. <laughs> oh, interesting. Never mind. Well, let's do let's do that. Actually, up then get up here. You press space on that thing and jump up, and you get a very you go very 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 high. We have to wait a few seconds and we come down again. Hopefully, I'm going to land on this thing here like that. Right now, I can actually attack these ones over here. Let's do that. Try a bit higher. Oops. Move out of the way. Got it good. Let's go down here. <coughs> attack, we can attack that one. I annoyed an Enderman one. Let's get the sword, is actually the best thing for the Enderman. It gives me quite a bit of health back anyway, so that's good. So now we've got to go get this one. Oh, there's the Ender Dragon. <coughs> I can actually attack him at this point here. It does quite a lot of damage, but I'm not going to try that until we've actually got rid of these things here. So the next one we're going to go up is here. Get this thing up again. Look up, I'm going to press space and jump. Oops, I actually hit the thing then. Try again. Now I think I've got to go a little bit this way. Hopefully we can land on it. Now I missed. Try again. I'll tell you what we'll do. I want to look at some Enderman then. Let's get that bow out again and see if we can get this one over here. Might be too far away. I think that one's that one went actually. So I'm taking a bit of damage at the moment from the um Ender Dragon, not too much. This, this one hasn't been destroyed over here. Tell you what, we'll, do. we'll get some of this while we're here. What happened to that? Did I throw that bottle away? We'll take some regen potion while we're here as well. That's this one. Got two bottles. Let's see if I can get these into some. Good. Some dragon breath. It does that good. Right, sorry. This distractions, there's one over there. Let's get that one. Where is he getting his regen from now? Let's have a look. Well there's one over here. Let's do this, deal with this one. See if we can get on this thing this time. So stand here, look up, and press space. It's a little bit this way, so let's move a little bit this way. Forward, see if we can land on it. Good, we have landed on it. Actually, let's get rid of this thing here. I'm missing those two. Try a bit further away for that one, and a little bit closer for this one. Good. So these ones are the hard ones. Let's see if we can get that. He's actually doing his thing now, so let's just... Oops. <laughs> I don't take damage, full damage, which is nice. But actually we can do this as well. Get a bit more health from a few endermen while we're at it. Oops, what am I doing here? I think I'm just being attacked by the ender dragon. Let's go up. How's my health doing? We'll have another regen potion while we're at it. It's only last one and a half minutes to regen potion, but it's enough. Let's try going up here this time. 
I think I have to move a little bit this way. But as you can see, it's quite tricky, right? Cut it good. So let's break this way now. Don't want to break it while I'm. I'll be too near this when I break it because it'll hurt. <laughs> Probably kill me actually. <laughs> so that's fire. So we get down here with a bit of luck. We'll be able to shoot that one now. Something's attacking me. Probably an Enderman. Somebody thought I looked at him. Two. How's my regen doing? Not so well. Let's have another one of those. Where is he getting his regen from over here now, I guess? move a little bit away it looks like the sort of the last almost the last one of these I think got it good so let's land on this and break this away now I actually have got some TNT in here which probably do Getting them probably I'm on the wrong side of this. Let's have a look around here. I'm just sick of it on the wrong side. I think it might be. Let's go upstairs and try again. Oh, yes, I didn't clear enough of this way, did I? Last time I was here. Now is that the last of it? Oops, but it got regen going as well. I will also do some of this as well. Instant health. Others and yep. So right, he's sorted out now. Have I got any more glass bottles I can use for this? Okay, I think he's lost all his regen, so we should just be able to sort him out now. I have actually brought a a maxed out weapon as well, but I'm not going to use it. So I'm using um, a cleaver at the moment with a reasonably amount of uh, a few good things on it as it happens. My health's down again. Let's just get some iron skin again. Let's regen going. a little bit more dragon's breath I actually want this let's just swap these around because they're in the wrong way health looking a bit poor right I have to get some more regen going Am 
my bow back in hand. Now when he does that, it's a good time to go and attack him, I think. Oh, I just picked up something. Right, I'm being a bit quiet, I do realise this, but it's um, time for concentration. Just him. I could actually try my shuriken, of course. Get up there. So I'm just jumping up and hitting him now. A little bit more. Um, oh, it's gone. So that's it. <laughs> I did it. Got him. What have we got in our possession here? I've got a lever. I've got a, an epic shader grab bag, and I've probably got a few bits and pieces. Um, and of course, now we end up with things like bio bio teat here. So that's uh, quite good. There's an enderman, let's sort him out. I don't know how much sword damage this sword is doing to these endermen, it's doing quite a lot. As you can see, my health is almost completely recovered from just getting two of those things. So we now end up with some bio biotite, I think this is, endo biotite, or from uh, Quark. I'm not sure what the purposes are, but I'm a, my inventory is a bit full. And that means I've probably got to go back home and sort out my inventory. So. Look, We'll do that now, uh, and see you a second. I think you have to press escape, don't you, to get out of that. And then we come back at, actually, at home. So our spawn point. I probably should have changed the spawn point to where that was. But anyway, we can have a look at what I have, I have for weaponry that I've used. So first of all, let's just get rid of whatever we can like that so we ended up with some endstone which is nice um i got eight dragon breath which is i'm not sure if they got any special uses in here except for to make lingering potions i think that's basically it just lingering potions of different types but it is an achievement anyway um yeah it's just lingering potions for those which to be honest we have never ever used so let's put those away somewhere like that so the weapon that i was using most of the time I've obviously got a full full bag of stuff. Uh, was this bow? So this bow is the an unbreaking three power five mending punch two and flame. Now, there were two bows I brought. This was the other one, infinity, but that doesn't seem to have any damage on it. Um, arrows. Actually, I don't see any arrows. Oh, because I put those away, didn't I? So I had some arrows in there. So that was a great epic shader bag. I also got this vortex cannon. Um, so let's go and have a look at what upgrades I did put into those two. Even though I didn't use the um, some of them, <laughs> I didn't use the, I didn't use the minigun, did I? 
so let's put this into here and have a look at the upgrades in this one. So I'm basically maxed it out with range upgrades, dispenser upgrades, item life item upgrades, which basically to tell you what it does here actually replenishes ammo, which is good. Range is maximum six of those, and that adds a so basically it's got a five meters for six that's 80 meters or blocks in our case dispenser upgrades oops let's look at that one i've got to do it here haven't i increases the chance of potion well i didn't do any of this did i at the end of the day um <clears throat> and speed upgrades does that does the um time as well so it allows faster minigun speed ups and i didn't use any <laughs> so that was so that was that one and this one here is the cannon the vortex cannon and the vortex cannon i think has got in it no upgrades it's just a oh it's got upgrades in here volume upgrades and security upgrades so the security upgrades and speed upgrades and i didn't use any of those so that isn't upgraded at all as far as i can see and there's no upgrade button in here, so there we, there we are. Is one of these things charging up? Seems to be very busy using power at the moment. I think that's probably because I've got um Entity Tracker on. Let's have a look. So I've got the Entity Tracker enabled, I think. Yeah, for drones. I can turn that off. That actually saves a lot of air usage as well. Um, and the only one, other thing I used was this, wasn't I? Just used that and this and the weapon. Let's go and have a look at this weapon. Um, so it's basically got insatiable spiky beheading to hastus, diamond sharp, and, and necrotic. Necrotic's what gives you stuff back again. And the, so if I hold down the control, we can see what it was made out of. Oops, I've got to keep my mouse in the right place. So it's a, a man, manilium cleaner, cleaver. So I got a bronze tough rod which increases its durability, I think, as much as that, and makes it dense. The sword base gives it this sort of the damage, the attack damage here. Um, the plate also does added to that to give it insatiable. Well, insatiable basically means one hit, and the second hit increases the damage it does. And cactus makes it spiky. Um, we'll have to look in the book exactly what spiky is. I think it gives it a bit, bit more damage. So I added, in, I added into this um, some upgrades. So can we see what the upgrades are by holding down shift? No, we can't. Anyway, the upgrades were basically redstone. I added, maxed out redstone, put one diamond on it, put a necrotic bone on it, and I think, I can't remember if that was, that was the only one. I added three um, toolkits to it to give, to get the extra um, hastis, I think. So it's actually quite a reasonably fast weapon, as you can see, compared to a standard cleaver. And that's it, isn't it? So, and of course, the pneumatic armor's got its upgrades in it. In, I didn't show you that. Let's have a quick look at the pneumatic armor. Um, on here, I've got. What does it does tell me what I've got in here, doesn't it? Armor upgrades I've got in here. Four armor grade upgrades in each one of these. Life dis item upgrades. I think we've covered this before. Anyway, that's the, the important one was for the um, the jet boots. I didn't use at all because it's no longer available in the pack at this time. Um, it is available. It's just we have to go and use end rods for it. And I think it is the. Which one would it be on the on the on the R, uh, um, I think this is this. I'm not sure which was the one that protects you from fall damage. It might be just the fact it's got pressurized to protect you from fall damage. I thought there was a dispenser upgrade or something like that. Does he does that? Um, and leggings should have pistons in it for that range upgrade to do that one. I think that's the one that does that for you. And all of them have got speed upgrades so that you actually run faster and also charge up the armor faster. Next time, I think we're going to explore a bit in the end to see if we can find a. Um, well, without, of course, using flight. This is, the, this is what makes it slightly more interesting. Not using flight at the end. Uh, see if we can go and find um, some end. What are they called? Fortresses. So until then, I wish you all the best. 
Bye for now.